Okay, today we're gonna install custom side runners on this 2012 ML350. Um, there are the, the OEM looking side runners, same thing you would get on the ML500, I guess. Um, but we're gonna basically pop off the, uh, the bottom plastic molding and replace it with the uh, new runners. This is a Ryan Little production. Alright, so um, I had to remove three uh, push pins, uh, which are um, these things. Focus. Uh, from here, uh, there's also three in the back actually. Uh, let me make sure that's the case. Um, so this one actually has one popped out already, but there's these two in the back. And then all along the bottom, there's gonna be uh, six of these uh, nuts, and these are 10 millimeter. And then you have to remove um, on the back jack point and the front jack point, uh, you have to remove these uh, rubber pads. And that's a Torx, uh, let me see what size it is. <clears throat> uh, T20 okay so um, remove those and that's just held on with that torque screw you have to um, uh, kind of wiggle them out they just don't fall out as you undo the screw um, and just want to keep you uh, aware of the step so far To remove the cap, uh, you got to remove this plastic uh, substructure too. It looks like it's just held on by some more uh, nuts, and I think they're also 10 millimeter. Yep, 10 millimeter. So we'll remove those. They run all along the piece, and then uh, should be able to have it ready for uh, installation of the new component. So uh, the pieces come uh, snapped together, so we're going to have to separate the inner structure from the outer cover. Uh, all it is is these uh, plastic tabs, we just lift them up um, and get it out. So do that next. Okay, they don't come marked left or right, so the way you can tell which one's the left and which one's the right is that this notch here. Right. This rectangular notch here will correspond to this bracket right here. Uh, the back doesn't have it. So you know that it has to point forward, so that's how you determine left and right. So this one's our left piece. So let's get it on the car.
right, so you have to remove these to remove the side skirt, the factory one, but you do not need to have this out to install the new one. So this is held on, it doesn't screw into the body. There's this little retainer clip um, that once you try to push this back in, this gets popped and it's inside the, the chassis frame. So uh, what you gotta do is uh, kind of fish this out with the needle nose pair of pliers and um, then you could actually reinstall it on the pad here. and uh, just uh, screw into it enough that it uh, it's seated but not too far that it doesn't uh, go on that uh, part there that's got these uh, ramps uh, because that's where it starts to tighten so you could actually pre-install this you know a few threads in there and then just pop it in and then just tighten the rest of the way So just a couple of notes on this installation. Um, sorry about the noise. Uh, my neighbor was going crazy with the leaf blower uh, in the middle of spring. I don't know where he gets the leaves from. But in any case, um, the kit did come with additional hardware. So the the structure for the running boards, the, the one that was on there, used six of these. And then um, the cap used another six running along the bottom. So the uh, that's 12 per side the new running boards use 10 on the main structure um, and then um, across the side and then another four on the bottom so it it's you basically need two more the kit came with six more so that was enough and i ended up having four extra pieces um, it also came with a little cap plastic cap that goes uh, right where the front door and the back door meet there's a little plastic cap um, I thought it was to have access to a screw, but there's no screw there, so I'm not exactly sure what that's for. In any case, um, uh, other than the uh, issue with the um, the jacking points with that little plastic clip falling inside, and you have to fish it out with a uh, uh, needle nose pliers, that's really the only way to do it. That makes sense. Um, it was pretty straightforward. Other than that, uh, not much to it. Um, and that's the only thing uh, that I wanted to comment. I got a little scared because I didn't find the, the hardware box until the end. So I was like, oh great, now I gotta find some hardware that fits this, but uh, luckily enough it came with it. So I uh, hope, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it helps some of you out if you want to do this change. Uh, the running boards were under $300. So I'll put the eBay link uh, to the ones that I bought. I don't know if they're still available, but uh, you could try it. All right, hope you enjoyed. Thank you.